Can you hear me, Shahika? Shadeem. Yes, sir. Can good, hear you. Good, good. So we are working on the vitamins, vitamins. the last day. Vitamins. So we have discussed about up to pentatonic acid, right? Pentatonic acid. Scientific name. Hmm? Right. So what are the deficiency symptoms of vitamin B6? What is the scientific name of vitamin B6? Pyridoxin. 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 Okay. So, what are the symptoms you are pointed? Irritability and anemia. Irritability, convulsions. Anemia. Okay, check your tube, I mean resource book. Check your yes, resource book. Yes, sir. Hmm. In the resource book, they have given irritability and anemia. Anemia. Only those two are necessary for us. One it is, what is it? Irritability, other one is anemia. So two are enough because they have mentioned only two. They don't want to expand it more. We also don't want to expand it more. Okay. Right. So what are the deficiency symptoms of Vitamin B7. What is B7? Biotin. Acid. So, what are the deficiency symptoms? Sir, B7 is biotin, right? Sorry, sorry biotin. Hmm. B9 is folic acid. Okay. So, what are the symptoms? Neuromuscular disorders. Neuromuscular disorders. Scaly skin inflammation. Scaly skin inflammation. Resource book only should be followed in this. Okay. okay Neuromuscular sir. disorder. Scaly skin inflammation. Okay. What are the deficiency symptoms of? Vitamin B9, that is folic acid. Folic acid. acid. Hmm. Anemia and birth defects. Anemia and birth defects. That's why pregnant mothers are provided with folic acid. Folic acid. Because it causes birth defect. And what are the deficiency symptoms of? What are the Deficiency symptoms of vitamin B12, cobalamine, correct? Yes, sir. Mm. Loss of balance, numbness, of balance anemia. And anemia. Numbness. Numbness and anemia, correct? Yes, sir. Right. What are the Deficiency symptoms of vitamin C, that is ascorbic acid. Scurvy, mm. delayed wound healing. Delayed wound healing. Scurvy. So inside mm. the brackets, characterized by degeneration of skin and teeth. We will speak about it in detail. Okay. Okay, sir. That characterization or what are the characteristics of beriberi? Like those things are there already in syllabus. We will separately place a question for that. Okay. Okay. So sir. what are the deficiency symptoms of vitamin C mean? These are the uh, this is the one scurvy and delayed, delayed wound. Wound, wound healing. healing. That's all. Right. So what are the deficiency symptoms of 
vitamin B. What is the scientific name of it? Calciferol. What is the name? Calciferol. So, what is the sign? What is the deficiency symptom? Bone deforma de deformities mm. in children. Mm. Uh, brackets records mm. bone softening in adults. Mm. Records can occur only in children. Children's. Okay. In children, the legs will be bending. It is called. Right. Are you given a deficiency symptom for vitamin E? Yes, sir. Right. Nervous system degeneration. What are the deficiency symptoms of vitamin E? Tocopherol. Correct? Tocopherol. What is given to you? Nervous system degeneration. Nervous system degeneration. And finally, what are the deficiency symptoms of vitamin K? Philocunone. Defective blood clotting. Effective blood clotting. Okay, that means delayed blood, blood clotting. clotting. Blood clotting will not be occurring quickly. Right. Now, these are the symptoms. Once you go for very, very, what are the... Okay, characteristics of... Very, very disease. Now you can go for that. Tingling, poor Tingling, coordination. Poor coordination. Susceptibility to infection. Susceptibility to infections. Reduced heart function. Reduced heart function. Correct. Yes, sir. Right. Similarly, what are the characteristics of uh, next disease? Pellagra. Skin lesions, mental confusion, and diarrhea. Skin lesions. Mental confusion. Hmm. Mental diarrhea. confusion and uh, diarrhea. Yes, sir. Correct? Yes, sir. In lesions, mental confusion and uh, diarrhea. Right. Similarly, what are the Characteristics of scurvy. Degeneration of skin. Degeneration of teeth. Degeneration of skin. Degeneration of, of teeth. Okay, that is curve. Right. What are the Vitamins whose deficiency cause anemia. Vitamin B six B six. Uh, vitamin B9, B9, vitamin B12. B12, B6. These kind of mm -hmm. things will come in the MCQ. B6, B9, B9 B12. B12. Okay. Mm.
what are the vitamin post deficiency post skin related issues vitamin a mm. um, sir ting tingling is a skin disorder no uh, vitamin b2 mm. uh, vitamin b3 um, vitamin b7 uh vitamin c mm. that's all sir like this they can put the works in and around what are the characteristic of records what are the characteristics of records d formitis d formitis bone deformities no sir yeah d formitis in bone correct deformities in what's it bone clear clear sir right right so passing vitamins actually this center part of vitamin b is not so much emphasized for us understood is not emphasized for us <clears throat> so we are not concentrating on that due to because they are not concentrating on it but here and there one or two points i have pointed you fad riboflavin nad niacin correct yes sir mm. something in an around now red blood cell production vitamin b12 like that here and there few points are there right there after we are coming to the heading minerals minerals are inorganic substances vitamins are organic no, substances minerals are inorganic substance and they are also important for the normal, normal health. health and many body functions. functions right and minerals are intake in the form of ions to human body okay minerals should be intake in the form of ions, ions right according to syllabus okay major minerals needed by humana given there and major minerals include both macro elements as well micro elements okay calcium phosphorus sulfur chlorine sodium okay magnesium are macronutrients for us iron chlorine iodine are micronutrient for us okay cobalt copper manganese molybdenum selenium zinc they are also micronutrient 
So major minerals mean not only including macro elements, including some micro elements too. Right. Simply go through the main functions of minerals according to the uh, resource book. Answer. Right. So basic questions are there. You contribute to it. Mm -hmm. What are the functions of calcium in human body? Form bones and teeth. Helps clotting blood and nerve muscle function. Nerve muscle function. So in clotting blood, the mineral needed in clotting blood mention the mineral and vitamin needed for clotting blood. What can you say? Calcium. Calcium is the mineral. Uh, Calcium is the mineral. Vitamin K. Vitamin K. Understood? That way, how to connect things okay, is sir. important. Okay. Fine. What are the functions of phosphorus in human body? Form bones and teeth. Mm. Help maintaining acid base balance. Maintaining the Acid base balance. Acid base balance. So, what are the okay minerals and vitamins essential for bone growth? Calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D. Vitamin D. Okay. The pattern of connecting the points. Right. What are the functions of sulfur in human body? Components of some amino acids. Name the amino acids that contain sulfur as they are constituent. One amino acid is methio9. Another amino acid is Uh, cysteine.
Okay. Okay, sir. All right. What is the next mineral? Potassium. All right. What are the functions of potassium in human body? Help maintaining acid base balance, hmm. water balance, and hmm. nerve function. And nerve function. Acid base balance. Uh, is there any other mineral pointed to you for acid base balance? Yes, phosphorus, sir. Phosphorus there. Potassium there. Uh, chlorine. Chlorine. Uh, sodium. Sodium. So, what are the minerals that contribute to acid base balance of human body? Acid base balance means buffering. Okay. Okay, sir. Buffering. So, what are the minerals? Phosphorus, sulfur, potassium. Sulfur ah, no, sir. Potassium, ah. uh, phosphorus, chlorine, mm. Mm. sodium. Sodium. Okay. Okay. And uh, check whether any other mineral pointed to you. What are the minerals? that contribute to water balance. Potassium and sodium. Potassium and sodium. Water balance of the body. So after uh, potassium, we are coming to chlorine, correct? Yes, sir. Right. What are the sorry? Yeah, what are the functions of uh, sodium in human body? Helps maintaining acid base balance, hmm. water balance, and nerve function. No function. The no function is also there as a common one. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what are the minerals that contribute to no function? Potassium, hmm. chlorine, sodium. Hmm. Sodium. Potassium, so chlorine, sodium. Right. What are the functions of chlorine in human body? Help maintaining acid base balance, mm. maintain osmotic balance, mm. no function. No function. So all the three, actually osmotic balance and water balance are almost same. But they are using a different wording. What is it? Osmotic balance. balance. Hmm? Right. So it is same as water balance? Yeah, same as water balance. Right. Osmotic balance is maintained mean water balance is maintained. Understood? Yes, sir. Right. So what are the functions of magnesium okay. magnesium in human body act as enzyme cofactor right so is there any other mineral having enzyme cofactor nature yes sir yes. so iron. iron so what are the minerals that function as uh, enzyme cofactors in human body. 
there you can say magnesium and iron iron yes sir mm. Right. What are the functions of iron? Components of hmm. hem component of hemoglobin hmm. and electron carriers hmm. act as enzyme cofactor. Right. Name an electron carrier. Okay. Having iron as its component, it is. Have you heard about the word cytochrome? Have yes, you heard sir. about the word cytochrome? So I have heard. In electron transport chain, it will come. It will come in electron transport chain. Cytochrome. That cytochrome has, it's an electron carrier. It has iron as its structure, or structural component. What is the function of fluorine in human body? Maintenance of tooth structure. Tooth structure. Okay. And finally, what is the function of iodine in human body? Component of thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone. There are two hormones there. There are two hormones there. One it is uh, thyroxine. Okay. What are the... You are writing the points that is not in the note. Uh, not in the note mean, Puta. It is in your syllabus. Understood? The yes, questions sir. I am placing, some of the questions, some of the examples, like things I am placing there are no. They are in your syllabus. It will come in the future lessons. When you come to that place, again, it will be a small repetition for you. So otherwise, I will not give them. Okay. They are not extra points, so out of syllabus points. What are the thyroid hormones? Okay. Who have Iodine in their structure. There are two hormones there. One it is thyroxine. Other one it is triiodothyronine. Triiodothyronine. Okay, sir. Because all the thyroid hormones, thyroxine, thyroid, thyroid gland hormones are not having iodine. These two have iodine. One it is thyroxine, other one is tri iodo. Tri tri iodo thyronine. Thyronine. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Right. I think again we need to come to the deficiency yes, symptom.
what are the deficiency symptoms of calcium in human body loss of bone mass impaired hmm. growth impaired growth if a person is a growing person then the impaired growth will occur understood so what is impaired growth impaired growth mean is like okay abnormal growth mainly more bones are not growing well the person will be a short person dwarf person understood yes sir the person will be a dwarf person right so that is calcium calcium is needed for the bone growth no if the bones are not growing the growth will be retarded okay okay sir what are the deficiency in terms of iron in human body anemia weakness impaired immunity weakness and impaired anemia okay you know anemia is a is, is it's a lazy feeling sleepiness will come okay okay sir so lazy feeling so anemia weakness and what they impaired immunity okay what are the deficiency uh, symptoms of phosphorus in human body decaying of teeth and bones weakness decaying of teeth and bones and what is it weakness teeth. what is the next one potassium okay what are the deficiency symptoms of potassium in human body muscle weakness mm. nausea mm. paralysis heart mm. failure do you know nausea so what is nausea nausea mean feeling vomitish vomit vomitish one character in solo mm uh, that one okay sir okay so what are the deficiency symptoms of potassium nausea paralysis heart paralysis. failure mm. muscle weakness muscle weak next mineral iodine <clears throat> so what are the deficiency symptoms of iodine in human body goiter goiter okay it is the enlargement of thyroid gland thyroid gland so goiter can be cured uh no <clears throat> goiter has only three choices okay one it is if it, the goiter is in a small size because it's an enlarged thyroid gland so it is a growth is the growth reversible no no so once it has grown larger it is grown larger clear yeah. so then people with growth are large ones they yeah, can be cured telling. that's what i'm telling if the thyroid now growth will not start at once a large one no correct yes sir if it can be noticed in the very beginning we can go for treatment we can increase the iodine intake we can go for a laser therapy okay we can suppress it after it becomes enlarged like a large cushion under the neck 
the only choice it is we have to remove the thyroid gland otherwise we have to live with the thyroid okay. gland enlarged thyroid gland in some instances some people what they do is one part of the thyroid gland is removed some of them what they do is they entirely remove the thyroid gland thyroid gland if they remove the thyroid gland the only issue is the thyroid hormones are there no thyroxin triiodothyronine calcitonin these hormones will not be received by the body so the problems based on those hormones will be created in the body understood yes sir then so how how hypothyroidism and all created because of what issue hypo thyroid hypo mean lower thyroid low iodine Uh, so because we intake low iodine we get hypothyroidism mm. Mm. so then we should intake more iodized stable salt and all seafood yes not more it should be a part of the life these ones are trace elements no okay yes, they are not needed by our body in lot but thing it is they are uh, needed continuously but so when a person is identified with hypothyroidism he should take uh, medicine for a long time yes the thing it is hypothyroidism will create certain symptoms no am i right so what are the symptoms hypothyroidism will create several symptoms one symptom will be uh, gaining of weight yes okay. sir, the person is having daily increase of weight yeah daily weight the person is my sister <laughs> i see tiredness will be there uh, constipation problem will be there mental depressions will be there muscle pains will be there and uh, now the thing is this now a, a child coming to that level mean okay yes, uh, after we have to relieve the symptoms no correct yes sir it's an actually there are several reasons for hypothyroidism okay one it is iodine and another problem is they are autoimmune hypothyroidism it's a very dangerous one understood okay sir genetical okay sir so dangerous one mean is genetical number because it is genetical uh we need a very long time treatment to what is it cure cure so we have to relieve it with the autoimmune diseases that is the biggest challenge right there are many things there because we can't tell only iodine as the what is it main reason main reason there are many causes for that right right she is quickly ga- gaining weight yes sir how old is she 26 young ones okay okay so deficiency symptoms of sulfur sulfur what 
காத டெபிஷியன்சி சிம்டம்ஸ் ஆஃப் சல்ஃபர் வாட் கேன் யூ சே ஃபேட்டிக் இம்பேர்ட் growth swelling hmm. next one so chlorine and sodium together hmm okay the deficiency symptoms of chlorine and what is it sodium sodium ah hmm. reduce appetite muscle cramps muscle cramps next one magnesium what are the deficiency symptoms of magnesium hmm. disturbance in nervous system nervous system nervous system is affected fluorine hmm. next it is fluorine. fluorine okay what are the deficiency the basic questions we have to place okay mm-hmm. then only we have to catch the uh, connections between them right fluorine is causing tooth to decay. decay now check uh, the commonness that in for example <coughs> the tooth decay okay so what are the minerals what are the minerals causing tooth decay fluorine okay. and decay. iron uh, no sir fluorine and phosphorus yeah fluorine and phosphorus that way we have to take the connection okay sir okay that is the most important part because you know the a b c d type questions are there no yes sir for that one catch another one what are the minerals uh, Uh, impaired growth impaired growth okay during deficiency calcium and sulfur calcium and sulfur anything else that we can join like that no similar ones no no similar one right mention the vitamin and mineral cause deficiency causes post deficiency cause impaired immunity vitamin a vitamin a yes sir mm. um iron iron yes sir. i mean a is the iron. vitamin mineral is the iron mineral is the what is it iron iron okay mention the vitamin and mineral cause deficiency cause fatigue or fatig vitamin b5 vitamin b5 pentathenic acid correct yes sir hmm. and uh, sulfur sulfur pentathenic acid and sulfur okay 
what is the characteristic of goiter enlarged thyroid glands enlarged thyroid gland Okay. Okay. Now go through the full mineral deficiency symptoms and see whether you are okay with it. clear sir good so from that place we are coming to the next heading what is it water water so according to your notes what is the percentage by 60%. mass water takes in human body okay what is the percentage by mass water takes in human body what is the percentage 60 percentage 60% 60% water okay from our body water is lost in several methods several methods what are the methods of water loss from human body urine sweating and feces urine sweating and feces what are the methods of gaining water to human body intake of water intake of water that mean drinking water Water through, through foods, and third, it is metabolic water. When the cellular respiration takes place, correct? Yes, sir. Water is generated. So, metabolic water also plays a role play. So, these two should be balanced. The intake and exit should be what is it? Balance. Balance. Right. Next, it is a simple question. What are the functions of water in human body? Provides the moist internal environment for all living cells. major component of blood and tissue fluid therefore helps to transport materials around the body and exchange materials between blood tissues and body cells mm. regulate body temperature through evaporative cooling dilute waste products and toxins and provide a medium for excretion moisten the food and make it easier to swallow that's also
Let's come to the one. Moist internal environment for what's it? All living cells. So, what is the internal environment? The cell's internal environment. Okay. Self internal environment is its cytoplasmic condition. Correct? Do you know that one? Yes, sir. Its cytoplasmic conditions are called, what is it? Cells internal environment. environment right second they say it's a major component in the blood and tissue fluid therefore helps to transport materials around the body <clears throat> and to exchange materials blood between blood and tissues and body cells here, it can be divided into two. Okay. So, how, so, or what is the contribution of water being a part of human blood? What will you say? It helps to transport materials around the body. Around the body. What is the contribution of water being a part of tissue fluid? Now what will you say? Exchange now tell that part. Exchanging. Mm -hmm. Material between blood and blood, tissues. Blood and tissues and tissues. body cells. Tissues and body cells. Okay, no. Okay. Yes, right. sir. Right. Right. How water contributes to moderate. Temperature in human body. Through evaporative cooling. Through evaporating cooling. So that what? means evaporation, right? Yeah. You, because uh, there are these things, the idea you now. There are many methods of cooling. Understood? Yes, sir. So if evaporation causes cooling, it is called, what is it? Evaporative cooling. Evaporative cooling. Right. What is the property of water that contributes to evaporative cooling? I am taking this one from your unit two. Understood? Yes. The answer high. Latent heat of vaporization. High latent heat of what is it? <clears throat> vaporization. Okay. Right. What is the next function mentioned to you? Dilute waste products and toxins and provide right. a medium for excretion. Right. What is the Benefit of diluting waste products and toxin. Okay. To prevent body cells. Okay. Getting toxicated. Understood. To prevent. Body, body cells, cells getting, what is it? Toxicated. Toxicated. Okay. If the toxicity, the toxicity is higher, then the storing structures are there, no? extreme structures are there, no? Yes, sir. 
they will be destroyed understood okay sir so diluting is very very important now some now for an example uh, we will later study in the same chapter same same unit and excretion in some animals ammonia is the excretory compound nitrogenous excretory compound is home ammonia ammonia in human urea is the nitrogenous excretory compound toxicity wise ammonia is more toxic than urea understood why sir why you mean what are you trying to ask by why it is more toxic udananjitan mulla so ammonia is more toxic yes to human body cells understood yes sir okay some of them are highly toxic some of them are weakly toxic toxicity now some will quickly kill some will slowly kill understood yes sir hmm. so in excreting ammonia if an organism chooses to excrete ammonia it should dilute it much more than we dilute urea understood yes sir because its toxicity is very high high so what is the benefit of diluting waste products and toxins to provide a medium for excretion no yeah that is right otherwise what will happen if they are not diluted what will happen to prevent body cells being intoxicated intoxicated understood waste products also will intoxicate them toxins also will get will make or is it body cells intoxicate them right now once again go through the functions of water in human body and see whether you are clear with them clear sir good so coming to next one <clears throat> fiber okay what are the major components of dietary fiber who makes the dietary fiber part non starch polysaccharides non starch that mean indigestible polysaccharides, polysaccharides. like like cellulose. cellulose cellulose is the major one understood yes sir cellulose is the major one right so fibers do fibers have nutritive value mean no no nutritive value for whom fiber fiber so but okay. we should intake fibers no yeah reason is different what are the functions of fiber what are the functions of fiber in human body you are given provide bulk to the diet and satisfy the appetite okay first thing it is providing bulkiness to the diet okay so if a person is willing to lose weight 
okay he has to intake more dietary fiber the dietary fiber will give a fillingness to the stomach if the stomach is filled now if we are not hungry we will not eat right yes sir so by eating dietary fiber we are giving a fillingness a fullness to the stomach satisfying the appetite okay so people who are eating more vegetable items they will intake more dietary fiber and less carbohydrate lipid like component right on the other hand if we don't intake more vegetable items okay our calorie intake will increase clear yes sir what is the second one prevent constipation mm. by attracting water to increase fecal bulk mm. and stimulating peristalsis leading to defecation defecation so two things are that increasing the fecal bulk and second stimulating the peristalsis peristalsis right both of them are <coughs> preventing constipation in the world the highest fecal bulk is made by african sorry to tell these things because it's my subject okay <laughs> the biggest fecal bulk is made by the africans and the lowest fecal bulk comes to european but thing it is in africans constipation problems or the gastrointestinal disorders like uh gastrointestinal cancer incidence are very very high low in africans you understood sir can you repeat it africans they they are poor countries no okay african countries are mostly poor countries so they can't go for burger and submarines right yes sir so most of the time they are mostly eating plant material to satisfy their appetite okay this increases their fecal bulk and they are a way of constipation due to because they are not they are a way of constipation gastrointestinal disorders are very rare in africa understood no oh, yes sir the highest amount of colonal cancer rectal cancer gastrointestinal disorders can be noticed in europeans, europeans. okay europeans because of poor so they are food food system you know okay yes. they are the one who have introduced this burger okay like food items are european food item only nutrition will be there no fiber intake understood yes sir mm. now please go through this <coughs> i have no middle question sir but i will put one question <clears throat> inside because only that question can be additionally placed here clear sir right how dietary fiber prevents 
constipation by attracting water to increase one method people. by increasing the fecal bulk okay yes sir second by stimulating the peristalsis peristalsis that's all okay okay sir so how dietary fiber okay increases fecal bulk now you can say by attracting water by attracting water water understood yes sir right now fiber related contents are over you are at the heading called what is it essential, essential <coughs> nutrients they have given a definition for you what are okay. essential nutrients they are substances that cannot be synthesized in the body from simple precursors and must therefore be taken through the diet okay so there's a greater chance of asking what is it essential what nutrition. are essential <coughs> nutrient now yesterday also i told you certain vitamins can be synthesized in our body from their precursors correct yes sir but most of the vitamins are not that's the idea all the vitamins mean actually it cannot be taken as a right statement understood yes, right <clears throat> so according to the second line what are the components falling to essential nutrient essential amino acids mm. essential fatty acids mm. vitamins and minerals vitamins and minerals okay yes sir mm. so this is just to follow the line of that say statement in what kind of reactions essential nutrients okay take part in biosynthetic okay, biosynthetic now protein synthesis lipid synthesis understood yes sir so that is commonly called what is it biosynthesis biosynthesis okay then you know that one uh if the essential nutrients are not taken so what is malnutrition you have to say it is a condition resulted it is a condition resulted due to insufficient or due to uh inadequate inadequate intake of essential nutrients in correct proportions understood yes sir right again these people repeat the essential amino acids under this heading so they say there are what is it 20 amino acids out of them eight are what is it essential amino essential acid essential amino acid that table is just taken from the internet and no need that much detail okay okay sir right and you know that one animal proteins contain all the essential amino acids yes sir okay
all the amino acids but plant proteins contain only a uh, few essential amino acids so you have to take several vegetables uh, uh, that mean collectively to fulfill your amino acid needs okay same idea you can go for fatty acids also correct yes sir right so we don't want to put again these ideas in detail so we are straightly coming to the heading basal metabolic rate okay what is men by basal metabolic rate shortly bmr hmm the minimum metabolic rate at rest you is it written in that method basal metabolic rate is defined as the minimum metabolic rate at rest hmm. when in a post absorptive stage in process experiencing stress. stress yes so it is the uh, minimum metabolic rate it is measured in kilo calories per day understood yes sir right kilo calorie how many kilo calories you need per day rate no so it should be connected to the time how many kilo calories you need per day okay what are the things you should be at rest and you should be in the post absorptive stage that mean 12 hours of fasting understood yes sir after eating food our metabolic rate will increase, increase. and when you are not experiencing any stress stress if you are experiencing stress it can be a mental stress it can be a what physical stress okay so actually determining mesal metabolic rate is not easy understood yes sir. because in the world there's no any person living without mental stress some worry will be there in the corner of their life right yes sir he can be the world's richest person for him also there will be mental stress mental stress sometimes that mental stress will be greater than a beggar on the road okay yes, really really in some instances i feel jealous of those people who are begging in the roads they have get their food and will sleep in a place no no worries of tomorrow what time going to be tomorrow let it to happen tomorrow why now okay we always think of tomorrow and lose the uh, today so it's very difficult to find a person without any what is it mental stress mm, mental stress physical stress okay right so if you write those whole thing only it is becoming the basal metabolic, basal metabolic rate so and metabolic rate bmr should be measured in a comfortable temperature range now in difficult temperatures now for example now candy is a comfortable temperature area understood yes sir now if you go to putlam like areas very hot so 
to manage the temperature your bmr will change understood yes you are you are you are not bmr your metabolic rate will change and that is not called bmr if you go to neuralgia because of coldness your metabolic rate will change and that is not bmr so bmr should be measured in what is it kilo calorie a comfortable temperature so one condition is simple what is meant by basal metabolic rate okay so what are the conditions that should be followed while determining bmr what are the conditions to be followed should be at rest should be at rest should Second, be in the post post absorptive stage it should be in the post absorptive stage that mean minimum 12 hours of fasting fasting third uh the person should not experience any stress any stress and the person should be in a comfortable temperature temperature range okay right okay what is the bmr of males 1600 to 1800 kilo calories per day what is the b m r of females 1300 to 1500 kilo calories hmm. per day so females are having a lower bmr, BMR than males male correct yes sir right so they are after we come to a heading called energy budget budget okay this area this is the first time they are speaking in our syllabus okay first time mean you will not, we didn't have this area up to 2018 syllabus okay okay sir so there's no any past paper questions based on energy no. budget so in a budget now sri lankan budget correct in a budget there will be two things discussed one what are the ways of getting income understood and what are the expenditures so in our country what they do is they will say this 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 are the expected income of the year and these 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 are the expected expenditures of the year so when we are balancing them most of the time in our country which one will be greater expenses expenses will be greater okay expenses will be greater so to fulfill that piece of expense we get uh, debits from other countries understood yes sir right so here they are giving an equation to us to represent the energy budget c standing for now in both these two should be equal understood your consumption the amount you intake 
and the amount you spend should be what is it equal that is balance so c is the income of energy in energy income what is it energy, energy content in the food sources mm -hmm. taken in that is what is it income energy income right and all the rest are energy expenditure understood yes sir so income is equal to what is it expenditure so what are the methods of expending or spending energy energy spent for metabolic activities energy associated with urinary loss energy associated with fecal loss okay after all of these if something is remaining that is used for the growth and reproduction understood now almost like this now your father man i don't know just telling this okay your father monthly earns an income say correct in that income he has to spend on the uh, household needs correct hello can you hear me yes sir right he has to spend on the children's educational needs he has to spend on the needs of his himself am i right after spending all this what remains he would be saving that saving he will be using for his uh, business improvement oh correct to buy some uh, jewels for the daughter or something correct and that portion will be only depending on how much you are uh, there some people what they do is they will reduce the family expenses they will decrease the uh, decrease their uh, consumption and they save they save they try to save more are you clear clear sir so the basic idea here is p is equal to c minus m plus u plus f so what is remaining for you is p understood do you please mark it down done sir right so in energy budget now you, i think you will understand it okay please go through this full energy budget note and tell me are you okay with it then we will go to page number 34 
clear, sir. Clear. Then we yes, come sir. to the heading. So wait, wait. So we have to place the questions, right? Yeah. What is energy budget? What can you say? Energy budget is a balance sheet of energy intakes. Again, energy expenditure in a particular animal. Right. What are the what is the method of gaining energy to body? What is the method of gaining energy to body? Energy from food sources. Energy from food sources by intaking okay, food. food. Okay. What are the methods of losing, losing energy from body? What are the methods of losing energy from body? Energy for metabolism. Energy used for metabolism. Energy, what is it? Used for? Used for metabolism. Energy spent for urinary loss and fecal loss. Okay, what else? Energy spent for urinary loss and fecal loss. Yes, okay. Yeah. What is the energy available for growth and reproduction? Production. Okay. The energy remaining. Okay. The energy remaining. Okay. The gained energy remaining after using for, what is it? After using for metabolism and losing with fecal matter and, what is it? Urinary loss. Urinary loss. After them, what is remaining? Production is remaining. Okay. So those kind of questions can come to you uh, based on energy budget. Right. After energy budget, you are going for food for healthy life. Could you please go through the content given to you? Food for healthy life.
கிளாஸ் வந்து முடிய போகுது ஏன் Tell me, what are the outcomes of what are the outcomes of in taking energy more than what is needed for the day growth and reproduction growth and what is it Re reproduction uh, what are the outcomes of in taking energy more than what is needed for the day if you in take energy more than what is needed for the day you will get certain ill health condition understood what are the yes, health sir. conditions diabetes mellitus diabetes heart mellitus heart diseases heart like uh, so we have to consider our life pattern and have to intake and have to intake food according thinking of our life pattern right otherwise these kind of problems can be created hello
So what are the food items that cause allergic conditions in some individuals? What are the food items causing allergic Pineapple. conditions? Hmm? So some people, <coughs> if they uh, eat pineapple, the skin will be becoming rashed. Understood? Understood? Yes, sir. So they, what is the thing is, if it is allergic to them, they have to avoid pineapple. If tomatoes are allergic to them, they have to avoid tomato. Right? And I told you regarding antioxidants also, right? Yes, sir. Right. So what are the importance of antioxidants? Prevent aging. Now that is over now, according to this note. Important in avoiding disorders in elementary canal and maintaining a yeah. healthy life. Aging, I told you that. Okay. But healthy inside the healthy life, that is also a part, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Next one is regarding right. so now hope you can understand the food for healthy life notes no need to take questions from every line that's not possible okay okay i have taken what i can take i can take in maximum so inshallah in next class we will discuss about malnutrition obesity gastritis and constipation if we discuss these four uh, defects in our body then the unit third is the, what is it nutrition lesson is over okay okay sir so. sahik i'll send you the questions inshallah today evening okay okay I, sir. Now go. I want to go to school now bye Okay, sir. So.